Hi guys, I'm Aaron Agarwal. I'm a six-star programmer on CodeChef and a master on CodeForces. Welcome to our channel, Learn Competitive Programming with CodeChef. If you want to master algorithms and data structures, then this is a one-stop destination for you. Every week, we upload problem explanations, problem solutions, and uh, tutorials in various programming paradigms, and even conduct live sessions. So here's a reminder to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to stay notified. Today, we're going to discuss a problem from ZIO 2021 called K-Bounded List. The prerequisites for this problem are dynamic programming and very basic combinatorics. It's only some inclusion-exclusion stuff. Okay. So let's look at the problem statement. So the problem states, a K-Bounded List of length n is a sequence x1, x2, dot, 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 xn, where each xj is an integer between 0 and k-inclusive. So k and n are the input variables. A good list is one that does not contain three consecutive values 0, 1, 0. So as an example, we're given uh, n equal to 4 and k is equal to 2. So which means all values have to be between 0 and 2 and the list has to be of length 4, right? So we're given 2, 0, 0, 1 and 1, 0, 0, 1 are uh, good lists, right? Because they don't contain 0, 1, 0 anywhere. However, 0, 1, 0, 2 is not a good list, right? Because 0, 1, 0 is there at the beginning. And similarly, 0, 0, 1, 0 is also not a good list because 0, 1, 0 is there at the end. Now, let good nk, so good is a function of nk, be the number of good k-bounded lists of length n. So for instance, the good 1-bounded lists of length 2 are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So good uh, 2, 1 is equal to 4. Okay? And so we're given some extra values of good, so you can cross-check and answer later. So now our task is compute good n k for the following values of n and k, and we're given a few values. Okay. Now, uh, so to solve this problem, you'll need uh, some dp. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so here's the idea. Okay. So, uh, for each val uh, different value of k, we'll solve separately, okay? So, uh, for each k, we'll solve separately. Okay? Now, the idea is, um, let dpi equal to the number sorry let dpi equal to the number of uh, good k bounded lists and k is given by whatever test case we're currently working on okay the number of good k bounded lists of length i and we'll just say dp0 is equal to 1 and dp1 is equal to k right dp0 is equal to 1 because the only thing is empty list right because it's of length 0 and dp1 is equal to k because you could have 0 you could have 1 okay all the way up till uh, k so it's actually k plus 1 okay so we'd say uh, dp1 is equal to k plus 1 okay and now how do we build this let's consider a dp list of length j okay and this entire thing is length j now note that if any if you have a good list then all sub lists are also good right so we have one of length j so let's say this is length 1 and this is length j minus 1 then we can consider the number of good lists of length j minus 1 so that's dp j minus 1 and think how many options are there for us to add something here, right? And that would obviously be k plus 1, right? Because you can add 0, 1, 2, all the way to k here, right? So our basic recurrence would be, recurrence would be dpi is equal to dpi minus 1 multiplied by k plus 1, right? And this is not really dp, this is just uh, k plus 1 to the power n right now we're not really checking anything here right we need to check for a 0 1 0 
subsequent somewhere so the way to do this is we can try to uh, remove so a 0 1 0 you're guaranteed won't occur before j minus 1 right like you won't have some 0 1 0 occur somewhere in the middle over here right so then the way to do this would be um, that we uh, consider only the 0 1 0 ending at position j okay now how do we do that well we can expand our dp a little bit okay uh, the idea is that uh, okay so for a 0 1 0 to end at position j the jth one would have to be 0 and the j minus 1 th 1 would have to be 1 right and then the j minus 2 th 1 would have to be 0 okay so what we can do is we can simply find the number of uh, good uh, the number of good uh, lists ending at point j minus 2 and of length j minus 2 rather and ending with a 0 okay so let's expand this dp a bit so let's say dp 0 0 is equal to or dp sorry what am i saying uh i'll give a more specific thing i'll say uh, dp i j is equal to num uh or i0 rather dp i0 is equal to the number of uh, good lists of length i okay and dp i1 is equal to the number of good lists of length i ending with zero okay so we have this kind of extended dp now so what's the recurrence here one second i'm just reading some stuff okay so the recurrence here is dp let's try to com uh, compute dp i1 first okay so dp i1 is equal to dp i minus one zero multiply uh okay so uh, just dp i minus one zero right because we're seeing how many different um lists there are of length i minus one okay which are good okay and we'll say that we'll add zero to all of them and we'll have so we'll have like these many unique lists ending with zero okay now the problem is we need to subtract the number of lists that are ending with the zero one right and to do that, we can just find the number of lists of length i minus 2 ending with a 0, right? So we'll just say minus dp i minus 2 1, right? Because uh, at dp i minus, one, I minus 2 1 is the number of good lists of length i minus 2 uh, uh, ending with 0, right? That's the definition. And so dp i 0 would be dp i minus 1 0 multiplied by k plus dp i 1 right because um, so if you're suffixing something like between 1 to k then the 0 1 0 combination is impossible right so we don't have to subtract anything there and oh, we've already calculated the number of uh, good lists of length i ending with a 0 over here so we can just add that directly instead of doing some extra calculations okay so this is our dp right so if you want to write this recurrence down you can write it down okay i'll just uh show you how you can solve a test case using this okay so uh yeah let me just erase everything okay let me just write down the recurrences cleanly here dp i1 is equal to dp i minus one uh, 0 minus dp i minus 2 1 okay and dp i 0 is equal to dp i minus 1 0 multiplied by k plus dp i 1 okay cool so let's try to solve this for a test case okay uh, let's try to solve for um, 7 3 Okay, n is equal to 7, k is equal to 3. 
So let's calculate the DP for 7 and 3, okay? So first our base cases are as follows, okay? So DP 0, 0 is equal to 1, DP 0, 1 is equal to 0, DP 1, 0 is equal to 4, and DP 1, 1 is equal to 1, okay? Now let's calculate this further, okay? So DP 2, uh, DP 2, 1 is equal to 4 minus 0, right? So 4. And DP 2, 0 is equal to 4 multiplied by 3, so 12, plus 4, so 16. Right? Similarly over here, for DP3 we have DP31 is equal to 16 minus 1, so 15 and DP30 is equal to 16 into 3 which is equal to 48 plus 15, 63. Okay? Similarly for DP41 we have 63 minus 4, 59 and for DP40 we have 63 multiplied by 3 which is equal to uh, 189 plus 59 so we can just calculate that 189 plus 59 is equal to 248. Okay. Now we have DP51. So uh, which is equal to 248 minus 15. So that's 233. Okay. And for DP50, we have 248 multiplied by 3, which is 744 plus 233, which is equal to uh, 744 plus 233 is equal to 977. Let's confirm that once. 744 plus 233 is equal to 977. Yeah. Okay. Now we have 977 minus 59. So 977 minus 59 is equal to 9, uh, 918. Okay. And 977 into 3 plus 918 is equal to 3849. Okay, now uh, 3849 minus 233 is equal to 2616. And now uh, 3849 multiplied by 3 plus 2616 is equal to 14163. And our answer for this test case is 15163. So it's just a small mistake, I think. Uh, is it resolve it? Yeah, yeah sorry. Uh, so over here I wrote 2616. It's 3616. I'm sorry. 3849 minus 233, right? 3616. And so 2849 multiplied by 3 plus 3616 gives us 15163. Right? Which um, is the answer. Okay? So that's how you solve this problem, guys. Now, uh, did you guys also know that Coach Ref conducts classes on Unacademy. These classes range from beginner topics like fundamentals of Java, intro to C++, all the way to advanced topics like graph theory, DP, segment trees, etc. These courses are taught by top educators such as ICBC world finalists, IOI medalists, engineers at Google, Facebook, etc. So all you have to do is either register on the Unacademy mobile app or sign up on the website and select your goal as competitive programming. We also offer a plus feature in which we provide large problem sets on each topic taught and provide live assistance from 5 stars and 6 stars TAs. Additionally, if you subscribe to Unacademy Plus right now on competitive programming, you can use my referral code AGU to get an instant 10% discount. So don't miss this opportunity to kickstart your competitive programming career. Okay, so that's it for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe and like. Uh, if you guys have any doubts or feedback, then please drop a comment. I'll make sure to check regularly. Um, to stay updated, you can also join our Telegram channel. The link will be in the description. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.